Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I'd like to talk about some classic Kabbalah books. And the first one is the Kabbalah Unveiled by Samuel McGregor, McGregor Mathers. This is quite an important book because it is a foundational book of the Golden Dawn. And for people who are not aware, Samuel McGregor Mathis was one of the founders of the Golden Dawn who wrote the entire curriculum of the Golden Dawn and he was also the mentor, the teacher of Alistair Crowley. This book was translated from Latin by Samuel Mathers in 1887, which was also the founding year of the Golden Dawn as an order. And it was translated from Latin to English. The Latin work was written by Nor von Rosenroth in 1677. So the book, which was written originally in Latin in 1677, this was the Latin version of the books of the Zohar, which is also known as the Book of Splendor. And Nor von Rosenroth wrote... Um, or translated into Latin several volumes from the Zohar. This translation into English by Samuel Mathers in 1887, this includes the first three volumes of the Zohar, which is a very important book of Kabbalah writings. So the three volumes that are in here are the three books that are in here from the Zohar are the Book of Concealed Mystery, the Greater Holy Assembly and the Lesser Holy Assembly. And this is the the book I've got here is the 1912 edition, the 1912 version that was later published by Dover. This is not the original 1887 version, the original. This is a 1912, it's a later slightly uh, updated or revised version by Samuel Mathers. And the original title by uh, Nor von Rosenroth in 1677. It, the original Latin title was uh, Kabbalah Denudata. So this book also has a really good introduction. The introduction is really important to read because anyone who might like to get this book, it's not an easy read. This is an intermediate level Kabbalah. So if you have a very good, solid, foundational knowledge of Kabbalah, you may want to read parts of this book. It makes a very good reference book. There is an index at the back of the book as well. There are some diagrams in the introduction and in the first book of Concealed Mystery. So for example, there's diagrams like this about the four worlds which is a concept of Kabbalah. So that is the illustrations showing the, um, the analogy between the letters of the Tetragrammaton and the Four Worlds. So it's a really important book, but as I was saying, it's more of a reference book because it's not a really easy thing to read, but 
It's a very important book. Uh, it was very important to uh, Alistair Crowley, for example, because he, he knew that the um, whole curriculum of the Golden Dawn was based on this translation by Samuel Mathers. So it's a very important book, all about the foundational concepts. But these are uh, written, as I said, at an intermediate level. So these are, they, it starts off with basic con uh, concepts, the very basic foundational concepts, but it goes beyond that. So this is the Dover publication of the 1912 version of the Kabbalah Unveiled by Samuel McGregor Mathis. So for people who are interested, uh, it is about 360 pages. Um, yeah, three, about 360 pages. So it's a really important book. So that's why I wanted to include that first of all in my Kabbalah Classics books for today. Now the next book is related to the first book, To Kabbalah Unveiled, Triple Seven and Other Kabbalistic Writings of Aleister Crowley. And of course Aleister Crowley refers to the Kabbalah unveiled in this book. So he makes a point of saying that the you know, ultimate reference is the Kabbalah unveiled by Samuel Mathers. This is a book of Kabbalistic writings. It is also a book of Kabbalah correspondences. So there are different sections of this book as well. Again, not an easy read. Uh, it's a bit like the Book of Toth, um, Crowley's Book of Toth. It's, a, it's like that. It's um, the same kind of standard. Book 2 is actually Liber 777, which is the uh, Book of Kabbalah Correspondences. Book 3 is a kind of a Kabbalah dictionary. And that is not all that easy to look at because it's to do with the Hebrew letters. So a lot of people will probably not use um, part three or book three unless they do um, know the, the Hebrew letters very well and they can read the Hebrew letters. And book one is uh, the Gematria. And the Gematria is reprinted from the Temple of, of Solomon the King. And a lot of these writings were included in um, Crowley's magazine, The Equinox. So The Equinox magazine was in many volumes that so was written by Crowley. So uh, Gematria is the um, Kabbalistic number analysis. So it's, it's to do with um, the way that, um, oh by the way there's a really good introduction in this book too that you need to read. You really need to read the introduction like the Kabbalah unveiled. There's lots of tables in this in this book, that's what 777 mainly is, tables of um, Kabbalah correspondences. There are lots of articles from the Equinox in here and a lot of um, numerical equivalents in here. So, so gemat Gematria is the numerical value of words, which is really important um, in Jewish Kabbalah. The Hebrew uh, approach is very much about the numerical value of words, so that's what's, that is what Gematria is about. 
so it's quite an important book. It is a Kabbalah classic. Triple Seven is um, referred to quite a bit in regard to Crowley and the Book of Toth, the actual book by Crowley. So people who are, again, at least at intermediate level, if you want um, some deeper writings and correspondences. Um, one thing I should say here too is that um, these correspondences were expanded by Crowley. A lot of them, are, some of these correspondences are um, originally from uh, people like Samuel Mathers and uh, Alan Bennett was another member of the Golden Dawn who contributed. Um, and, and also some of these are even taken from um, the references, the correspondences of Cornelius Agrippa. So these are not all um, originally um, written by Alistair Crowley. As far as the correspondences are concerned, he greatly expanded them, but he did not write the foundational basis of the correspondence tables. So I wanted to make that point. This is published by Weiser, and of course it's definitely in print, quite uh, an important book of Crowley's. And that book, it's in three, it's in three sections or three books. So the the actual page count um, I'm not too sure about because it's it's probably roughly about three hundred pages because it's it's made up of three books really. So Triple Seven by Alistair Crowley. Triple Seven and other Kabbalistic writings of Alistair Crowley. So those two books are very important classic Kabbalah books. Next two. The next one is one that's probably not as well known. A Practical Guide to Kabbalistic Symbolism by Gareth Knight, also published by Weiser. This is two books in one, very thick book, because it's two books. Now Gareth Knight was a member of the Society of Inner Light, which was the order that was founded by Dion Fortune. So this book is really um, a commentary on, a commentary and expansion on the book by Dion Fortune, the mystical Kabbalah. This is an act, for me this is an absolute Kabbalah Bible, for me. It's a very important book. I've talked about this book on my channel before. So this book is really the basis of Kabbalistic Symbolism by Gareth Knight. Gareth Knight wanted to expand and explain this book more for people because this book was mainly written for the students and the members of the Society of the Inner Light. So this was for people who had um, an intermediate to advanced understanding of Kabbalah. So that's why this book was written. Also published by Weiser. I have reviewed that book on my channel before so you can look into that on my other um, Kabbalah book videos. So back to this one. I 
think it was originally written in about 1975 and then it was revised in about 2001. So it's, it's divided into two books because the first one is about the Sephira or the Sephirot uh, of the Kabbalah, which are the ten spheres and, and the energies and correspondences. Um, now this is called Kabbalistic Symbolism, but it's not really a book of symbolism. Um, it's a little bit misleading. I think a lot of people will look at this and say, oh wow, a symbolism book for Kabbalah, but it's more about concepts. There is symbolism noted in here for correspondences, but it's more about the concepts in regard to Kabbalah. That is why it's, it is more of an expanded commentary of the mystical Kabbalah by Dion Fortune. And Gareth Knight does uh, mention that in his introduction, that it, that is what this is meant to be. That was his intention to expand and explain uh, the book Mystical Kabbalah by Dion Fortune. So it's a very interesting book, but of course you, you really should read this in the two parts. So volume two, part two, and volume two is about the paths of Kabbalah. The paths of the Kabbalah are to do with the major arcana cards of the tarot, but it is the paths that join up all of the spheres of the Tree of Life. But Volume 1 is very much to do with the Mystical Kabbalah book because the Mystical Kabbalah book was mainly about the spheres of Kabbalah, or the Sephirot. So He's calling it, he's calling the first book part one rather than volume one, but the second part is called volume two on the parts and tarot. There's diagrams in here and tables. There's an index as well. So this is in two parts. I think each part is about 300 pages. I think there is just checking that there is an index. There is an well, there is one index for both books for both parts. Yeah, both books are each about. Book one is about two hundred and fifty pages, and book two is about three hundred. So that's about five hundred and fifty pages in here. So this is worth getting as well. You've got diagrams and tables and it's just an explanation as I was saying about a, a really a really good explanation of all the different aspects that are in the mystical Kabbalah book. And section four, for example, of part two is the tarot. So in relation to the tarot with the paths, that's really like 50 pages is, is um, devoted to that. But it, it, is, it is a great book. It's, it's a more accessible book, I think, for people who find the mystical Kabbalah book by Dion Fortune, who find that too advanced. And as I was saying, a lot of people would find the mystical Kabbalah book a bit too advanced or too esoteric. So, Kabbalistic Symbolism by Gareth Knight 
is a way to access that information which of course is also Golden Dawn based as well because uh, Dion Fortune was a member of the later temples and branches of the Golden Dawn, the later branches and temples that were set up after the original Golden Dawn. And then she went on to found her own Society of Inner Light. So Kabbalistic Symbolism, A Practical Guide by Gareth Knight, still available for people who are interested. And these four books are really important from a Kabbalah and, well I should say Hermetic Kabbalah. This is Hermetic Kabbalah of the Golden Dawn for people who want to know a lot more about that, who want the deeper concepts and meanings and who want to study a lot further. These books are really important for that. So that's why I wanted to talk about those today and show those books today. And I will put uh, the videos, I will put, excuse me, I will put the details below the video about these books. Thanks for watching and bye for now.